I was at Home Depot and I saw this. It's a 175 watt power supply for the Milwaukee M18 line of batteries. It comes with a battery and the uh, power inverter to go from 18 volts to 120 volt. Um, this was 150 bucks. I know they sell just this online at other stores for about 100. I don't know what these batteries go for. I don't usually buy the Milwaukee brand batteries new. I usually just go on Amazon and get the uh, the Amazon version. It's a lot cheaper. They mark these up way too much. But uh, yeah, I got a couple things here. I'm gonna try and see uh, what it can power and how strong it really is. 175 watts um, ends up being about an amp and a half. So not a ton. You can't do a little space heat or anything like that, but we'll see. We'll see what it can, uh, what it can power. So here in the back, it tells you, depending what battery you have, uh, so it comes with a 5 amp hour battery, it'll charge a, a phone five and a half times, um, it'll charge a tablet twice, a uh, laptop, it'll charge it once, a TV, um, 118 minutes, looks like a box fan for 72 minutes. It looks pretty cool. Uh, trying to think what it might come in handy for i think one of the things is you know you don't want to plug your generator in or whatever and you just you need the internet well it should be to power this no problem i think this is only like half an amp or an amp uh, a little wi-fi router so you can get internet i'm not sure if it'll power power tools pretty well but we'll see all right so the battery it comes with let's see does it have a charge yeah, it's only got one bar. So I got this one here, same thing, five amp hours, fully charged. And then I also have my big 12 amp hour. This is fully charged. We'll see if this makes a difference. All right, let's open it up and see. package um it's got it's got a type c port then a regular usb port all right let's start with something that's gonna have a light draw so this little led desk light all right so this is half an amp i guess we should probably turn this on first so I'm assuming we just hold down the button that looks like a plug. All right, oh wow. You can hear it, a little fan clicked on, I think. So, let's plug this in. Let's see, let me shut this lid on. So, okay. This is only, I think a third of what it should be able to handle. the router power goes out you need internet you don't want to have to run an extension cord from your generator because you're already powering your fridge or whatever this oh wow the draw on this is uh even less than the light this is a third of an amp so shouldn't have a problem powering this yep that's on powers this no problem Let's do something a little more powerful and see what happens. This, uh, I think is four and a half amps. Let's see if it powers it at all. Let's see if it shuts off on us, I'm assuming it will. All right, let's see. Okay. I'm going very light in the trigger. Uh, let's go all the way and see what happens. 
Oh. I'm holding it down all the way and it's, yeah, too much power for it. All right, so this palm sander is uh, two and a half amps. That's still a whole amp more than what it's supposed to be out of power. Let's see, see what it does. fan here hasn't turned on yet um, again this is yeah 2.4 amps um, it's only supposed to power an amp and a half but see the delay alright so we know it can power that that's good right, here's our 100 watt, 120 watt incandescent light bulb. Should have a problem with this. Shut this one off. Let's see. Oh yeah, not a problem at all. That powers that up pretty easily. Here I have a uh, one that's definitely more power. This is a heat lamp that I would use on my chickens. This is uh, 300 watts. So that's double what this thing's supposed to put out. Let's give it a shot and see what happens. Oh wow, uh, too much. Too little error light again. Let me try something though. Let me see if the bigger 12 amp hour battery makes a difference. Let's try it. This thing is so light, it barely weighs anything. I'm trying this with the 12 amp hour battery. On. Same thing, shut off. All right, let's see. Uh, I've got one more thing I want to try. I'll put the old battery back on it. So here I have, it's actually pretty cool. It's a projector off Amazon. Let's see what this requires for power. So this is 1.5 amps. You can read that there. I don't really have a good screen over here. I don't know where to put this. Oh, actually, on the ground's pretty good. So I got a little SD card on here. Uh, let's see. Let's go to um, the Matrix. Great outside, you know, in the summertime, cooking, whatever. But yeah, it's powering this thing, no problem. It's uh, pretty good. Pretty good. The Matrix. So this right here is a pretty small package. If you want to, like, take this, go somewhere in the woods, camping, whatever, this is all you need. Uh, I don't know how long it'll power it for. This thing, <laughs> I can't imagine it wouldn't power this thing for a good while this is one of the uh, cheaper amazon batteries so this says 6.5 the actual milwaukee five these are the exact same size they're probably lying it's probably not six and a half amps it's actually probably just identical to this yeah these are much cheaper they charge to the roof of these things i bought this one which was i don't even know 200 bucks 250 bucks um, cause back when I bought this, they didn't have, uh, a cheap knockoff version. Uh, and I needed this to power my mm. impact, my big, big impact for taking off big lug nuts. I don't have a spare surge protector here, but I want to see, it's only got one outlet, but I want to see if I can power multiple things at once, if I can plug in a surge protector. So I have this, this LED work light right here. So that's powered on. So we plug in the router at the same time. All right, so we got the green light. Yep, so we got the green light. We got the router and the light on at once. 
little fan here is on. So, definitely, definitely power multiple things at once. Nothing too big, but it uh, doesn't seem to have an issue with the router and the LED light, which neither of them use a lot of power. So yeah, it's a pretty cool little gadget. Um, pretty small. You can easily fit this in a backpack, um, you know, luggage, whatever. You're going to the beach, this could come in handy. You want to charge uh, iPad, laptop, you know, whatever. Um, let's see, you're going for a long bike ride or something like that. This is pretty lightweight. You know, you can bring this, charge stuff up. Yeah, it's a cool little design. Um, Ryobi makes one. Uh, that's only 150 watts. They do sell one of these on Amazon, a knockoff version. It's cheaper, but I don't know if I would trust that. I think that one is also a little less watts. Um, you can't beat the actual Milwaukee uh, branded tools. Um, they really are just made better. They're built better. Even the batteries, you know, like this. This is the Chinese knockoff battery, which this is probably made in China too. Cells made in Korea, Malaysia, Japan, and Singapore with further further processing in China. Um, this is probably, come, yeah, made in China. Um, just, this has rubber on the edges. This is a lot more rugged. I've dropped these before. Um, they don't break that easily. They take they can take a really good beating. I've dropped one of these before and it literally shattered. Um, but I think you get pretty much the same power output from these, but again, you can't beat Milwaukee. Uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend this. Uh, this is pretty cool. I'm gonna keep in my toolbox. Um, I mean, I, my, my, my truck has a uh, an inverter. It's 150 watts, this is a little more, but it can never hurt to have something like this. Um, I mean, I, it'll definitely come in handy at some point. But yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It definitely helps out. But yeah, the Milwaukee top off, uh, 18 volt to 120 volt power inverter. Pretty cool.